13th of May 2007. Everything's been potted up now. Some plants a little bit small for the pots, but they'll be fine. We've not actually connected any of the pots to any of the trays or to any at all. So, We've not actually connected any of the trays to any of the tanks. We've just watered through. And we'll leave them for about 10 days. A week, 10 days. make the roots work for the water. We've got pak choy, four, three or four pak choy plants and some sweet peas in there. We'll grow those across the top of the greenhouse in a one pot system. Along this side we've got various chilies in the two pot trays. And again at this end, sweet peas and pak choy in a one pot system. On the other side, got the two pot trays again. Each tray is going to be individually, or each tray is going to be connected to its own tank. And we're going to try four different types of liquid feed this year. Two types of tomatoes on this run, Sun Gold and Gardener's Delight. The Sun Gold are with the green tag and the Gardener's Delight with the red. Cucumbers growing in a one pot system. We're using two types of compost with equal amounts of perlite mixed in. I like to use perlite, it adds a lot of air to the soil or to the compost that you're using, it makes it fluffy, it stops the soil from sticking together. I've tried two different types of well known brands to see if there's a difference. There's a difference straight away just from watering the plants in today. We've watered that through and there's no water that's run off from the pot. We left them to stand for about 10 minutes. However, the other brand, there's maybe, I'd probably say 15 mil of water run off there, even though we let them stand outside. So obviously this soil is going to hold a lot more well, this compost, should I say, is going to hold a lot more moisture. We'll see how we go throughout the season. We've got a couple of two-pot trays, trying different sized pots, to see if there's any difference. Because the one-pot system, the pot that's attached to that or included with that will also fit in the two-pot tray. So you can have a 15-litre pot in a two-pot tray or an 8.5-litre pot in a two-pot tray. And also the same in the uh, one pot tray, you can either have both pots. Just want to see if there is difference in plant quality or growth. So in this large 15 litre pot in the two pot tray, we've got peas for my son to eat and coriander. Just want to do a little bit of uh, 
companion planting. Just over the aubergines. Once again, we've not connected any of these trays to the tanks. Oh, this is, all this greenhouse is going to be uh, connected from one 250 litre tank. Just going to spur off supply with post pipe size pipe and then spur off using the auto pot fittings to reduce the pipe down to 6mm and then connect towards the aquifer. We've got two types of tomato plants in this one and a pepper plant. Just going to see how we go. In the one pot system. Another two varieties I think in this part. I think these are Alicante and Fantasia. Let's see how they grow. And then one pot with a small pot inside. Just growing three varieties of chilies, very small. Should have really grown them up into a slightly smaller pot. That'll be fine. Again, uh, small pot in a one pot tray. And then the large pot in a one pot tray. See if there's any difference in growth between the chilies and the larger pots. 